Hello awesome ClickTree developers. This is a quick tips and tricks video regarding ClickView syntax. As you know, ClickView is pretty good about syntax error checks, but there are some instances when ClickView will go its merry ways without giving you any syntax error even though the statement fails. So let's look at the specific instances when that may happen and what to look for. So let's look at the apply map function. Well, the mapping is a powerful feature that you can leverage to eliminate some of the smaller tables from your data model. But if you misspell the mapping table name, ClickView will not give you any syntax error, yet it will not perform the, the desired mapping that you would expect. All right, so now let's look at the pick function. Well, pick function is a powerful function to find a specific value from a given row from a, a, a field in a table. Again, as we discussed in the prior syntax, either field name or table name can be misspelled or, as you know, ClickView is case sensitive. So if you have the same field name and or table name, but with different case, then ClickView will not give you a syntax error yet the pick function will fail and you will not find any specific reason as to why that happens. So this is something to be careful about. And last but not least is the include file statement. Well, if you just use include and if the file doesn't exist, then ClickView will go its merry ways without complaining yet you will not include statement from an external file that you would expect to include in your script. So always use must underscore include. With must include, ClickView will give you an error message, or I would say a warning message that the file that you would like to include is missing. So, those are the three pitfalls you want to avoid. Happy clicking. Thank you very much.